other than that, he has been nothing short of fantastic. And they're going to run the true freshman, Jalen Glover. And not surprisingly, Arizona State gives up a huge play on the ground. They down an eight. Utah's been very good on third down so far this season. Rising to the air as time now steps up and delivers incomplete. Would have been a corny with his family. He sat in on the meeting as rising throws complete to Enos close to a first down. Her and attention to detail were two things he really touched on with us when we spoke to them this week. Makai Bernard in the game, and here's a flea flicker rising with a ton of time. Got a receiver wide open, and it's caught for a touchdown. Dalton Kincaid got behind the defense, and Utah is on the board first. About the physicality of this team, how about the creativity and imagination of Andy Ludwig? That's Bernard. He's a really good receiver. They like to go to him a lot. Rising instead has Vele, and it's a first down out to the 43-yard line. So they pick up third down and eight. Underneath crossing round, Sun Devils unable to identify it. And Utah goes up tempo. They're unable to identify the tight end out in space. It's Kincaid who's been open several times, including on the touchdown. It's another 14 yards, and Utah's in Arizona State territory again. You got their Swiss Army knife. Michael Bernard in the backfield catches the ball very well. Rising instead, hits Bailey again. Utah is completely dictating dicta dicta terms in the run and pass game. Again, keep an eye on Makai Bernard. You see him leaving the backfield. The throw over the middle is caught, then the ball is punched out. But Utah recovers it. Coaching staff as to whether Thomas wouldn't be available. Third down and three. They're going to run it. Clubber. And he comes up. Three tight ends on the field. And Glover, the running back, play action on the boot. Rising, throws into the end zone. It's tipped. Oh, and then it's caught for a touchdown. Kincaid with his second of the game. Put the ball up, and Dalton Kincaid with those big hands makes quality competitive catches all the time. 88 no since 2016. Teams that made the college football playoff. Going perfect in September. On third down and four, Glover looks to be short by a yard. So now packages. And again, they don't have the big back Tavion Thomas in. It's Jalen Glover at running back. On fourth down at a yard. And a whistle pre-snap. Come on. That guy a parking spot, for goodness sakes. Imagine that as Bernard gets the first down. Imagine if Dusty did that. People that don't remember, Dusty had <laughs> was a 300-pound nose tackle for the Chicago Bears. at in all of college football and just runs this offense to a tee. They got a wide receiver in there. Jackson getting the carry, and he's knocked down at the five-yard line. Jaquindon Jackson. At the Solomon Enos, his dad, Curtis, was a great player at Penn State. Drafted in the top 10 by the Bears. Here's Jackson again trying to get the edge. Cut it back down to the five. So pick up a two second and goal coming up. What was your running back skills like back in the day? Awful. Come on. Just awful. There were no. Two tight ends. They fake the jet sweep. Dump it off. And a good play in the open field is Bernard. Bernard. Kincaid in the slot up top. They're going to run behind Kincaid, and down goes the running back. Try to bring some pressure and get that ball out of Rising's hand quickly. Well, they have two players, uh, the Markham twins, not playing tonight for personal reasons as the pass is caught, and it's going to be a first down. Kincaid just about to say that they've got a lot of guys in the secondary. Dusty, to your point, sitting back in zone, all Utah does is flood the zones. Rising again, a wide open receiver. First down to the corner. You come back down the stem, as you mentioned, as a comeback. Very, very difficult route. Rising five of six, almost 70 yards on third down. Here he is on first down, and Vele is free past the 20. He'll play corner if he has to. Did that in the Rose Bowl last year because of injuries. Gets the carry here, and he breaks a tackle, lunges forward. And he'll get the carry. Bounces off of a tackler and into the end zone for another Utah touchdown.
Nice physical run there by Jaquindon Jackson. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is typically a wide receiver helps pave a path. Quick snap, another run straight ahead. Tough decisions at head coach. The interim, Coach Iguano's got to make. Four state championships at Chandler High School. Tavion Thomas, first time we've seen him on the field, and he promptly goes for a big play all the way to the 45. Of Going to be Thomas again, trying to cut it back. Going to be close. Cam rising, the read option. And Thomas able to move the chains. Rising keeping it here. First down inside the 20. Gain of 11. On the jet sweep. Dixon inside the five, heading for the end zone. As the new head coach there in New York. Rising on the boot, throwing downfield, wide open is Yasmin. Inside the Arizona State 40, trying to rip the ball away, but unsuccessful, and Yasmin all the way down. First and goal, Tavion Thomas stood up this time. And brought down by Silvera. It's like the depth of the Pac-12 better than it's been the last couple of years. Third down and goal from the three. They run Bernardi doesn't get in. Good play by Anthony Cooper. We put up the graphic earlier that since 2016, no team that lost it with a 25-point lead. Rising to throw, looking, fires, and it's knocked down by Robertson. Upset that he didn't pick it off. Thomas gets the carry on third down and brought down short of the line of the game. We'll see if Utah goes for it on fourth down again. This team's constructed. Rising checking out of it unless he's just trying to draw Arizona State offside. Nope, checks into a run to the left and Thomas gets the first down. That has to also infuse something into your players on offense when you continue to show confidence in them. Tough guy to get to the ground. Third and two. Thomas taking some shots. Rising as a completion out to the 10-yard line to Enos. 